I think it was Wednesday night, wasn't it, this week, that West Ham won the, was it Europa League? I'm hoping I'm right about that. Bit of a football ignoramus. And on Thursday night, there was a victory parade ending in Stratford High Street. It was so loud that you could hear the cheering from at least half a mile away where um, we live. And uh, as I understand it, this, um, this event was all the more wonderful because of all the failures that there's been before. I think it's 43 years, isn't it, since West Ham have won a trophy, I think Ollie was saying. And it's the first time that West Ham have won uh, in Europe for more than 50 years. So there was great joy indeed, wasn't there, when that team were welcomed and uh, celebrated on Thursday evening. And as we've been seeing in the story of Joseph, one of the big lessons, the surprising lessons, the mind-bending lessons even of the story of Joseph, uh, is that God works through the evil actions, he works through evil actions of people to bring about his good purposes. And I take it that the, one of the key messages of the little section of the Joseph story that we've just had read is again a very sort of surprising and mind-bending message. It's not something that we would expect to be true. But that as God works through evil situations to bring about good, so God works Part of that process is God working through very difficult situations. Situations which expose our guilt. Uh, situations of deep fear uh, as part of achieving that good, his plan of salvation. I think we see that in the story, don't we? We see Jacob absolutely in the depths of fear in this story. Uh, and as we started and we thought about last week, we see the brothers of Joseph in the depths of guilt. Now these things aren't very comfortable things to think about, are they? And um, it's not very nice to think about guilt, as we thought about last week, and sort of going to particularly try and focus this week a bit more about fear. It's not a very pleasant topic um, to think about. Perhaps this morning you're feeling full of fears, uh, and um, the last thing you want to do perhaps is, is think about it for another 20 minutes or so. But I take it that God does want us to think about and focus on and acknowledge both in this story, the guilt of the brothers, that deep sense of, of guilt that they have, but also, in particular today, the fear of Jacob. God wants us to do that because he loves us, because he cares about us, and he wants us to think about and, full, and face up to the things that we really will go through. As, as That's what I think the message of the second half of the story is, acknowledge the depths of guilt and fear through which God works to achieve his salvation. Acknowledge the depths of guilt and fear through which God works to achieve his salvation.